This is your Captain Shreyas and welcome to the Vedantu Need English channel. If you are a student who is looking for the exact weightage and the most important chapters to get a decent enough score in the NEET 2024 exam, this video is for you. So watch it till the end. Now, many videos are being made probably on the weightage, but how to actually use this weightage in the paper and what should be the right strategy to get that desired score that is also going to be told in this particular video. So first of all, do a simple favor, smash the like button and also subscribe to the Vedantu Need English channel, the number one Need English channel in the country. Yeah, it means a lot when you support us by commenting and liking and also talk about this channel to your friends because that motivates me and my team to make more such videos. So starting off with physics, if you target anywhere between 120 to 140 marks, these are the chapters that you should target. These are the very, very important chapters like current electricity, AC, ray optics, etc. And then even these chapters carry a decent amount of weightage. All these chapters are must do. You cannot skip them. But if there are some topics apart from this, which is not in the list, then you can afford to skip them and still get a decent enough score. Please keep in mind that you should do these topics thoroughly and avoid as many negative marks as possible. Then only you can achieve this particular target. And I feel in the last few weeks and you know days, you can cover up these chapters with a proper systematic plan. So I hope you have taken a proper screenshot of this and you are going to right away get onto these chapters and be super duper confident about this. Moving on to chemistry. Again, if you are targeting anywhere between 120 to 140 marks out of 180, then these are the chapters. So you can see chemical bonding, basics, organic chemistry, aldehyde, ketones, carboxylic acids, P block, redox, very, very high important high weightage chapters. Even these uh, chapters like DNF block from inorganic and even these organic chapters, structure of atoms, chemical kinetics, equilibrium, these are also must do chapters. Anything which is not there on the list, again, you can skip it depending on your confidence level. If you're not so confident, then I would suggest you can also uh, spill over to few not so important topics if you find them a little bit easier. But my advice will be to stick to these topics. Then moving on to biology, if you're targeting anywhere between 290 to 320, which I feel every need student must aim for 100%, these are the most important 16 topic lists which I have given to all of you. Make sure you are studying all these topic lists like biological classification, cells, animal kingdom, bowel molecules, plant growth development. So many topics are there guys. But trust me, there are so many more topics which I have not put in the list. And if you have not done them well, still you can get this amount of score if you study these topics properly even in the last few days. So no matter what, you have to do these topics and make a schedule to cover these topics in the next few weeks. Now, when we talk, uh, talk about these particular targets, you know, in individual subjects, how exactly to achieve them? Starting off with a score of 600 plus in NEET, right? So what should be your subject wise target and strategy be? So marks wise physics, you should get 140, chemistry 140 and biology 320. Some of you will be like, sir, chemistry is stronger for me or physics is stronger for me. You can increase this and decrease this or you can increase this and maybe decrease these two. So it depends from person to person. But I'm going to show you a sample calculation how this has to be done. Then for getting these marks, you need to solve 35 here, 35 questions here and 80 questions in biology. All right. Now for solving these questions, how much time should you take? Well, 80 minutes in physics. 60 minutes in chemistry because you can do a little bit faster. All right, physics involves a little bit of more calculations. Biology can be done really quick in 60 minutes and it is possible because you know it or you don't know it. Per question, how much time? Two minutes, 15 seconds, little over two, sec uh, two minutes because it involves a little bit of calculations and application of those concepts. Chemistry, one minute, 40 seconds is a good enough time per question and in biology, around 45 seconds. That is your average time per question if you are targeting 600 plus. All right. So you should know this realistic values so that you can plan your mock test properly. Some of you might be like, sir, is there a strategy or a calculation table for slightly lower marks? Well, I have made that also in case you are getting very bad marks in the mock test. At least you can target 540 marks. So 
in physics 120 chemistry 120 biology 300 so 30 questions here 30 questions in chemistry and 75 in biology which i feel is pretty realistic and doable even in the last one month 80 minutes in physics chemistry 16 minutes biology 60 minutes per question you take little bit more time in physics that's perfectly okay close to three minutes now and chemistry two minutes per question on an average and biology you can take little bit more time let's say 50 seconds per question so that is a strategy that you're going to apply for 540 plus now you decide how you want to play around with these values which subject you want to solve more which subject you want to solve less but make this table and use this table and adjust it recalibrate it after every mock test you might find your own convenient strategy based on your scores which you get in the mock test all right so i hope all these topic lists and the manner in which the calculation and the strategy has to be applied for achieving your set goals and targets is very very clear also do not forget to smash the like button down there and subscribe to the one and only Vedantu Neat English channel because there will be lots and lots of tips, strategies and academic sessions which are planned for all of you in the days ahead. Alright, so thank you very much. Do let me know in the comments how you felt about this video and what video you want next. Bye bye, Captain Shreya signing off. Hasta la vista.